All right, uh, what's up, everybody? Welcome back for another video. Today, guys, we're gonna be making a, a, a video of what I'd like to see for 2023 for Spin Master or Monster Jam. The first up here's my wish list of trucks I'd like to see. First up is the 20th anniversary Max D, Thor, Velociraptor, Ven Rust Vendetta, Blue Jester, Spooky Blue Jester. Red Jester, Blue Kraken, Black Overboard, Chrome Blue Overboard from World Finals 21, USA Overboard, Steps Overboard, Black Panther, Jurassic Attack, Raminator, Hutsy, The Punisher, Just Get Her Done, Wild Side, Terminal Velocity, SpongeBob SquarePants, um, the Blue Velociraptor, Wrecking Machine, Spider-Man, Pickup Truck Hooked, Van Hooked, Iron Man, Lucas Stabilizer, Team Scream Megalodon, Green Bell Air Avenger, World Finals 10 Avenger, Global Avenger, Yellow Avenger, or World Finals 13 Avenger, World Finals 11 Avenger, Neon Orange Bad Company, Hardy Bad Company, Wet Sounds Bad Company, the new Saigon Shaker that was revealed in Seattle, Axe, Brutus, Rockwell Red, Ramunition, Recreation, Batman, Extreme Attitude, Blue Thunder, Superman, Captain America, Wolverine, Jailbird, Hulk, Raid, uh, Rage with the Squared Body, Bad News Travels Fast, Wasted Nights with the Hummer Body, World Finals 17 Avenger, The Purple Gravedigger, because Moss Jim OCD is requested for so long, we have got to get it, Son of a Digger, Powered by Hoonigan, World Finals 18 Avenger, um, World Finals 21 Avenger, and Gunslinger. Also, want to put Blue Thunder on the list. What I meant to say is Blue Thunder. If you guys can remember back in the earlier 2000 days with the small hubs with the with the white out Blue Thunder, and you know on the white out Blue Thunder that they had back in back all these years ago on a small hub hub, I, and they kind it had a kind of like a shiny chrome blue on that body. So I'd like to see is they take that chrome blue from that Blue Thunder and put it onto that Blue Thunder. I'd also like to see the chrome blue be applied also to the chrome blue overboard and the chrome blue kraken. Also, I really want to see Gunslinger. I'm going to keep asking for this until we can finally get this for, as a tribute for Scott Hartsock. Other things I do want to come back is put the gun on Soldier Fortune because it looks pretty cool. It was a cool feature that Hot Wheels did. It added an extra thing of detail. I would also love to see um, Team Throttle Monster, any independent team for that matter, to keep their license with Spin Master, not Monster Machines. Now, Monster Machines is pretty cool, but I kind of want Monster Machines to be a thing to be made for independents that don't compete in Monster Jam. Like Kamikaze, Tailgater, Bounty Hunter, Scarlet Bandit, Dirt Crew, um, Boss Gator, Lone Wolf. Just for stuff that does not compete in Monster Jam. Monster Jam. Because, guys, something I do look forward to when I see Spin Master is Spin Master, where I feel like does a better job at making independent trucks than what they do Feld trucks. Because something I always look forward to when Spin Master is releasing new trucks is looking forward to what independents are going to be made. Like, they've done amazing independents so many times, like, like, of different Avengers, Bad Company, Rage, Black Pearl, Backwards Bob, um... Any, any Avenger, or, uh, let's see what other uh, cool independents have they done. They've done Time Flies, Scarlet Bandit, they've done so many Lumberjack, they have done so many, so many. They did Kraken was also, Kraken and Saigon Shaker were also really cool. Spin Master is really good at making independents. I mean, Spin Master has made some really cool looking Feld trucks as well, like the front engine on a Max D, Son of a Digger, Grave Digger, Bakugan Dragonoid. That stuff is all cool, but please, 
Team Thrill Monster should keep their license with Spin Master. But the four Team Thrill Monster trucks that we got in Monster Machines, like such as Jurassic Attack, Kamikaze, he, uh, Vendetta, and Rockwell Red, you know, Jurassic Attack was the coolest one, but all the other three were inaccurate to the real life trucks. Whether that be with the tooling and the shape, shape like they just made the they made the the vendetta body look exactly like the uh make look at like exactly like the uh captain's curse bodies they used to use on Hot Wheels Monster Jam trucks. And Jurassic Tech didn't have the kind of like the trophy kind of the trophy truck kind of like back end of his truck. They didn't have his tailgate cut off. I think if we could have had Spin Master make Jurassic Attack, Vendetta, Rockwell Red, Kamikaze, or any other team throw out monster trucks like Velociraptor, Extreme Attitude, I think they would have done a good job. So I hope this could be a one-time thing for Team Thrall Monster and that they can give their rights back to Spin Master, because I think Spin Master would do a way, way better job than what Monster Machines did. Monster Machines can just stick to doing... <coughs> Independents that don't compete in Monster Jam. Next up, I'd love to see the trucks become more and more accurate. Like, I want to see super more accurate trucks. Like, within the, like, with the tires and making, like, the exact same bead blocks rather than, like, if, let's say we're releasing a Grave Digger. Don't release, uh, don't release just in all green rims. Have the green bead lock with the silver rims. Make all the, sh uh, make all the full length bars, the shocks. Make them all, all like as accurate to the to the um, truck as it as they can. Make it super super accurate. The planetary. Make it all super super accurate. Put the white BKTs on the trucks. Just do whatever they can to make the trucks super accurate. Also, something they can do to make more trucks accurate is to make put the Scott Hartsock tribute on the back of uh, Bad Company company um add the back thing of avenger instead of having a cut thing into seeing into the truck make the make the headers more accurate because not every single truck is running the standard feld um silver header i mean some feld trucks do you run black headers like adam anderson's grave digger used to run that but now it doesn't and adam anderson used to have a black header other fell trucks do have black headers such as Soldier Fortune Black Ops, Son of a Digger, Earth Shaker, or but not all the act, but not are the standard felled. Um, not all trucks have the standard fell header. Like there are cool, there are other different kinds of headers. Like maybe we can put some zoomies on the trucks. Like I do know Black Pearl Overboard and Wildside. They ran that new header that they Black Pearl got a new header in Glendale for this year in Monster Jam, and then Overboard got a new header in um. In uh, in Kansas City and Wildside got a new header in um, Cleveland. So I'd like to see the headers be more accurate in shape, shape like like the ones Vendetta and Paul Jensen's Jurassic Attack use. Use those are different headers than what the uh, the normal Feld trucks use. Use um, maybe some of the stuff that Tom Fleury Motorsports is in. Just make them more accurate, make them more look more like the trucks. Also, if you guys know, if you guys have looked on this. But some trucks, they have that back thing, like, you know, on Gravedigger, if you were to take off the body, like, they have something, like, right underneath here to keep, to hold up this back end, end of the truck. And, yeah, they can add that to some trucks, such as, like, Gravedigger, like, Gravedigger, Son of a Digger, or, um, Kraken Jester. Try to make the chassis super, super accurate to the IRL trucks. And also, like, to see them make sure to be able, like, to have the bodies come out, come off. And not just have the bodies come off, but have them come off in multiple pieces. Like maybe the hood is a separate part, and the other part of the body is another part. I've had them all come off in like separate parts, kind of like an x-ray, but don't make it look x-ray. Just have it where you can pop the body on and off. On and off whenever you want. It wouldn't damage it like with the screws. Make it so like maybe I was doing a freestyle on my pool table, like Gravedigger's body could easily naturally shut off through crashes or hard hits or something like that. Something like that. Just try to make these trucks super, super accurate to the IRL. So they're exact replicas. Or maybe, like, you know, put the driver's name up here. Here, like, with some trucks. Like, maybe, like, there's, like, different variants of Gravedigger and each one can have, like, their driver's names names on it. Like, um... 
uh, like, uh, we have, um, Adam, like, let's say we have Grave Digger, like, we have Adam Anderson on one, Christian Anderson's name on another, we have, um, Weston Anderson, Brand Vincent, Tyler Meningo. Like, let's say, like, maybe Adam Anderson is the most common, but then they make Brandon Vincent a more rare variant. Kind of like how they put the driver name on, uh, Camden Murphy and with the Bakugan Dragonoid. I think they also put driver's name on Rosalie Raymer's Wildflower. I think they maybe even have done it on Jimmy Creighton and uh, Bounty Hunter. So just put driver's name on it. All you can also do is for other fellow trucks to just put them on like Son of a Digger, Monster Dalmatian, El Tor Loco, Zombie. You can just this just, just put the put the drivers put the driver's name on it as well. Also, so they can make sure, like, whenever they make the maxi 20th anniversary next year, which they probably will do, please, please make that thing a front engine. Please, make that thing a front engine. Next up, yeah, also, guys, what I'd like to see is, you know, guys, um, how they had that, those driver things that came out in 2019 and 2014. I'd love to see if you can make them more accurate with the fire suits. I've seen people... Make customs of the um, fire suits that were released in 2019. You know, with the figure that came with in 2019 with all the trucks. I, I would love to see um, if we could have those more accurate with the more accurate fire suit. And driver, and driver on there. So that way we can have them, like, you know, maybe I'm setting up a pit party out in my living room or on my porch. I can put all the drivers there. You know, to make the thing more accurate to, to make to make this more and more accurate to an IRL pit party. Next up is I kind of love to see travel treads, but not in the way you think. As well, travel treads work is very different from what we saw back in 2011 when they re released these. Travel treads do not work how they released them in 2011. What happens is if you guys were to watch either a, a monster truck get unload get loaded back into a trailer after a show on either on a Saturday or a Sunday, watch either the trucks get unload from the trailers on a Thursday a night or Friday morning at a stadium, or watch them load up or unload from a display lay up from a trailer. They take off the like let's say we're at the, I'm hanging out at the stadium and Grave Digger comes out of a trailer. What happens is Grave Digger has his travel treads. When the Grave Digger is out of the, the trailer, they take off his travel treads. The, tra the travel treads aren't underneath the big tires like what they're doing here. The travel treads are are um they're they are put they are put on uh, they take them off and they pick took out the travel treads and then they put the big tire the big VKTs on. That's how I'd like to see them do it to make them more accurate accurate where you can just take off like at any time you can just Take off the uh, take off the travel treads and then just put the big the big tires on to add to more accuracy for people like me who are trying to make almost show replica accurate shows even with some of the smaller or smaller more behind the scenes details like such as the pit area. Next up, also involving the pit area is please make all the trailers. I'd love to see them make all. I'm going to see them make all the trailers, even if it's just the plain white trailers that nearly everybody in, that everybody in the, um, that everybody, that all the Feld trucks are on besides Max D, D who has his own special trailer. Some independents do have special trailers such as Raminator, Raminator, Team Thrall Monster, Team Scream, Scream, uh, Team, uh, Saigon Shaker, Team Dom Fleur used to have one where the back half of the trailer, like with this, Part would just be black with the Jester logo, but they removed that in 2019. Most likely to the addition of Kraken to the team. So, uh, so I'd love, so I'd love to see them, to see them make, remake all the trailers. But please, do not make them like what they did in at least 2020. I think, yeah, don't make them like in 2020 where the side opens. I have it to where the back doors oh, oh. Have it to where the back doors open, then you can fit like trucks, like like maybe two trucks in there, trucks in there, and then then just open it up. Even if it's just a plain white trailer, I don't care. That would still be really cool. Or maybe what Master can do is like maybe we have our own special design trailer for Megalodon or for Monster Dalmatian. Then that would be really cool, cool and something new. 
like have it to where the trucks can unload off the back and from the um end of the trailer have this part of the trailer be touching the ground and have it connected to something this would be something really cool 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 and i would love to see this and see this would make my shows even more accurate within more of the behind the scenes stuff Try to make my shows more and more accurate, and this would be a gigantic help. Maybe also something they can do as far as, like, making, like, maybe what we can do, do, um, also make my shows more accurate is my pit party and the trucks. Like, maybe let's say we're doing a pit, like, having all the trucks out, maybe, like, there's a thing where you can do when, when you can make the, like, you know how the trucks have sounds with the engine noises? Maybe we could somehow add that to the trucks by having like a switch under the button, button, or maybe if it comes with a small remote control, it can be an RII button to stop to stop the truck, or a little switch under a truck which will um have an art which will make them have engine noises when you move it, and to have the accurate engine noises to each truck. That would also be cool. I'd also love to see like have to have them have their own pit party, like the. Have a pit party playset, which will come with stuff. Like, maybe it'll come with, like, the barriers, these yellow things they put around the trucks, or maybe tiny little people with fans, the tents. Maybe the activities, like the slide, or food stands, or the great clip stand. Then, like, just to make your pit party just even more and more accurate. Maybe the people can move, like, they can be, like, some AI that can move along the pit party. Party like a little, almost like kind of like a little robot figure. Like if you wind it up or something, they'll, they'll move it around or flip a button. It'd be really cool and make more accurate to like an accurate pit party setup. Because currently my pit party setups right now that I do for shows are just are just you know trucks sitting out there. There's no really like there's no really like any drivers or tents or stuff like that. And so this could make like our shows, my shows, more accurate. Maybe even, you know, something they can also do is come with play sets of the stadium. Stadium, like, we can do a play set, we can have a play set of the stadium and the track that can be useful for me. That's maybe about the size of a pool table, maybe. I don't know, but I think that would be really cool. Next up is bring back the flags. Now, when I mean the flags, I don't want to see what we saw in 2017. I'd love to see them kind of like mine. My flags, or the IRL flags. Like, we can have them, like, maybe a toothpick with a flag in there. And then they stick into the truck like what, what I do with my shows and on my pool table. table. And I also love to see the flags be made out of the same exact texture of the IRL flags. So that way you know if they're like in the wind, you know you can have them like flapping around and folding and curling. And I'd love to see flags like for Grave Digger, Son of Digger, Max D, Zombie, or maybe even other stuff like sponsored flags like Lucas Oil flags, Pit Viper flags, Morgan and Morgan flags. This flags and maybe um the trucks would the trucks could the, the trucks would run like not just actual the actual trucks but something like sponsored flags like the ones I just named like Pit Viper Lucas Oil and Morgan and Morgan. Next up is I'd love to bring the snow tire trucks back. Now every single time during the holiday seasons I look forward to going to the store or like a Walmart or a Target Target and going over and to see. He go to the holiday session and around the Christmas time and see the snow tire trucks, which were around from 2011 all the way to 2000 and in 2017. I don't think they did in 2017 unless they just uh, re-released -re old trucks. I'm going to see how these holiday trucks come back. Come back, like maybe we make them, like we can have snow tires, grave digger, Max D, son of a digger, and maybe do independent trucks as well, like Avenger. So that way we can, um, so that way we can have more trucks. Also, I'd also love to see a Bad Company Ice next year as well. Well, that would be useful for holiday racing. Oh, also something I'd also love to see for Spin Master that I forgot to put on my PowerPoint is... I'd love to see, um, go and reach out and do more stores. Because right now, the majority of the stores that I have, the only stores that really have Spin Master Monster Jam trucks in, um, are mainly Walmart and Target. I'd love to see them expand and do more stores. And I remember back when the, during the old Hot Wheels Monster Jam days, I could go anywhere and see them. Like TJ Maxx, TJ Maxx, Ross, Bells, Publix, the, some stores at the small, like Macy's, and stuff like that. I even, I have seen them maybe even at a game, even at GameStop before. 
So just like bring, bring them back and try to bring them to almost any store we can possibly can. Heck, maybe we can start selling these at gas stations almost. So I just let them see that almost any store store that's out there, out there besides just mainly Target, Walmart, and uh, and the actual Monster Jam events. I love to see these things be reached and sell sold at all stores, stores. Because that would be something really, really cool and that we'd really love to see. Alright guys, that's going to be about the end of the video. Oh guys, please be sure, be sure to share this video with anybody in the Monster Jam community. Especially Monster Jam OCD so we can try to get this possible well, for, for next year. Because these are really cool ideas I would really, really like to see. In my next YouTube video, guys, um, as well guys, um, something I did forget to mention. And that when I recorded my video on Sunday... Sunday about the two new screenshots for the Cosmic Shake. Well, literally, just after I filmed it, they released this video. They released this screenshot right here. Oh, also, yesterday I was going to have a trick-or-treating vlog video where I was going to say anything but trick-or-treat at people's, at people's doors. But I realized the video wasn't as good quality, and um, the video wasn't as good quality, and uh, so we just didn't film because it just didn't turn out too good. It's kind of a bit difficult to film, so we just had to cut the entire video as a whole. Cool, so, yeah, but this new screenshot did get a good announced. First off that we see here is, we did get confirmed, as you remember from the interview back in August at Gamescom, that we were going to have a costume of Spongebob dressed up as the Flying Dutchman. Well, we get to see this costume right here, and he's doing his IMAGINATION thing right here, 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 as he's dressed with the Flying Dutchman, I guess this is a kind of a reference to the, um, when he dress. I think there's a spun, like, like, there's some, probably, I think there's some, like, things, like, in Blind Boxes or something, where Spongebob's kind of, like, this ghostly green, almost kind of, like, dressed up as, like, as a ghost, like, if he were the Flying Dutchman. Spongebob's also the Flying Dutchman, or kind of, like, a ghost, like, the Flying Dutchman, as far as color goes in the two, in two episodes. I remember one where the Spongebob and Patrick were riding, were lawn, riding on Squidward's lawnmower and they accidentally shaved off the Dutchman's beard and so they got turned into ghosts. Spongebob was also dressed up as a flying Dutchman in the Ghoul Fool, in the Ghoul Fools episode. Remember in the Ghoul Fools episode at the end there was like a Spongebob who flipped the Krusty Krab, Krab at the end when they were in the void. In the void, like they got the crust, they like they had this SpongeBob on the this outside SpongeBob who's a part of Squidward's torment, torment in the void, void that came back at the end of the episode, which um flipped the crusty crab for some reason, and then it turned out that at the end SpongeBob just, just started laughing, and then the and then he kind of like dressed up and kind of had the Flying Dutchman laugh, so that could be a reference to that. We have the Flying Dutchman right here again. And he's not see-through. Come on, Teach Knorf, we gotta get a see-through flying Dutchman here. So far, out of all the Spongebob video games that have released, only one game has gotten this right, which was Battle for Bikini Bottom back in 2003. It was the only thing with the see-through Dutchman. I mean, the Dutchman wasn't see-through during cutscenes, like, like during the boss battle cutscene, like the... Before the boss battle and the post after we defeat the Dutchman boss battle, he wasn't see-through, but... All the other Dutchman's very like when we meet him in the beginning of the level and when we see the Dutchman Dutchman in battle as the boss battle and the Dutchman's graveyard in battle from Bikini Bottom, he was see-through. Meanwhile, every other SpongeBob game has gotten this wrong. Revenge of Flying like Revenge of the Flying Dutchman got wrong. No see-through Dutchman in Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. Um Lights Camera Pants on the PC also got it wrong as well. The Dutchman also was not see-through there either. The Dutchman was also not see-through in the latest Rehydrated, and of Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated, he was also not see-through. So I hope they can edit this. But also you can see like the green, ghostly, green, slimy goo, goo laying all around the, uh, the, the level here. We do, can see a few pumpkins, like there's one right there, one right there, one right there. It almost looks like right here, almost like these candle things, which I first thought were Minecraft torches. Like these in the back almost look like Minecraft torches. But they were just, but they're just, uh, but they're just, um, little candles here. Some tombstones of graves. These lights here. 
some, I think that that's the door to a trailer we're going to be reacting to soon with, um, thing. It also says, are you ready for trick or treating? Yeah, I mean, I'm already ready. I mean, I did this already. There's some little kid back here that's almost dressed up as a ghost back here as a trick or treater. More pumpkins, tombstones, a fence, some grass, these little lanterns, a tree right here, just kind of an odd place. Got some rock bottom buildings in the background, this like ship kind of looking right. And the Flying Dutchman is right here, not see through. And there's a door to almost someone's house and maybe trick or treat at it. There's another thing back here. Now we do have some things to point out. I think right here is a trampoline with this red and white thing. I'm pretty sure there's a trampoline to go somewhere. Another possible feature that could be coming back is right here. It looks like right here is actually the bungee hook. Right here. There is a bungee hook. Which, guys, could either mean one of two things. If you guys can remember back when the original announcement, the fish hook swing, was a move again to be announced from Spongebob. I theorized this was going to be you know, the thing where he, with the jellyfish net and render the fun. That's when I used to be able to grab the jellyfish net. Uh, you can use a jellyfish net on hooks back in the Wrench of the Flying Dutchman. So I thought I was going to re reference to that. Or what this could also possibly be. This also looks like the exact same bungee jump from Battle for Bikini Bottom, so this could mean bungee jumping is returning. But due to SpongeBob and the screenshot not being a, not showing off as much, we can't see it. This is going to be leading down into either a pit for an item for a collectible, or if this is going to be a fish hook swing where it's going to lead you up like the fish hooks would do in Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. So that's that's cool, and that's about pretty much it for this screenshot right here. Next up is my next video, guys. It's actually going to be a tra is a trailer analysis that's going to be coming out for the Cosmic Shake. Shake. So I'm going to be uh, analyzing the new trailer we did get for the game. All right, guys. Thank you for everything we have. We uh, thank you for everyone who watched this video. Please be stay tuned for my next video when we're analyzing Cosmic Shake. Happy Halloween to everyone. To me, to everyone. Even though it's a bit late since it is November first, and uh, also um. Please be sure with me, Spin Master Ideas, please be sure to tell Feld Entertainment, or not Feld, but at least messages to Monster Jam OCD so you can take this into consideration and for for next year for Spin Master Monster Jam. Alright guys, have a good evening, and good night, peace out, like and subscribe and comment, turn on that notification bell.